holidays everyone! I'm Gleekles and today I will be doing a Nightmare Before Christmas theme holiday speed paint or with markers actually because I don't know what to call it if it's speed marking but yeah so I actually put this video together yesterday on Christmas Eve and right now it is Christmas so obviously I had a lot of things to do as most people probably did and family commitments but I still wanted to do something special. Last year I drew a uh, Jack Skellington Sandy Claus and I really really liked them a whole lot and amazingly so did a lot of other people so I thought maybe it would be a cool tradition to maybe do a different version of Sandy Claus every year Santa Jack. Um, just for fun, of, just for the fun of it. Um, I've also been, you know, I'm so sorry I haven't been uploading regularly. I thought I was going to be able to, but I had a little bit of complications with some of my um, anxiety and such. But I'm back on track again, once again. Um, it's just been really busy at work and super stressful because it is that time of year and everybody's running around like a chicken with their head cut off. So by the time I come home from work, I'm just like, ugh, I'm dead. Um, if you watch my Snapchat and my Instagram, you'll notice that I do doodle, or I was working on like a really big drawing, a McCree drawing, and then I do doodle every once in a while. Um, even if I can't finish a piece and post it, I will try and draw something each night. But I figured drawing something comfortable like Nightmare for Christmas and something easy and then just in my style that I love, um, I think that was a good way to like help me get my umph back. Um, and I'm working in the extra large mixed media sketchbook um, but this one is the 9 by 12 so as you can see I had a little bit of room to quickly do a little thumbnail and then do my piece right next to it and I'm using a Prismacolor Color Ace Color Pencil and just trying to get Jack and his lanky legs to make sense even though the puppet and the movie, you know, they do things that aren't necessarily proportionate and not a thing is proportionate, but this was a whole lot of fun to make. Um, Night Before Christmas is my favorite, and um, I had a lot of fun just, once again, not really worrying about anything and just diving in and making something fun for Christmas and, of course, making a video for you guys. But, um, yeah, it's been... <laughs> It took my, I didn't like do my normal setup because I didn't have time. Um, so I'm just using the stand and I actually used my phone to record this. Still really good quality. Way to go, 60 frames per second on the old iPhone. Um, but as you can see, sometimes the phone is really heavy. And so it would make my little baby tripod keep tilting. And that got really frustrating after a while. I just didn't have time to get all the light fixtures set up and like set up the tripod for my camera. And sometimes my camera is quite curmudgeony as well. So I just want to do something quick and fun and easy. I hope everyone has been having an amazing time off. If you are granted that, I know some people do not have that benefit and I'm terribly sorry. I myself, um, have Christmas and Christmas um, day off and the day after and I actually will go back to work for one more day but I took some time off because I had some left over so hopefully that means more relaxing and more drawing for me. Um, here I'm using the Pentel Pilot brush pen instead of the pocket brush pen because I really like how soft and squishy and uh, varied my lines are. I feel like when I'm using the Pentel brush pen, pocket brush pen, I feel like really anxious and kind of scared because of how thin the lines are. Whereas this one, I just kind of go ham and let 
the line weight flow and just be what it is and what it's going to be, which is perfect perfect for the style that I wanted to draw, you know, this very Burton-esque um, character and, um, but yeah. Um, I used and will use, uh, when you see coming up, some quick markers, um, the ones that I had just because it was simple and quick and I was actually supposed to be getting ready to go to one of many Christmas dinners, but I had some time and I hurry up and wrapped my presents and then I met some family for Christmas dinner and then I came home and passed out, went to my mom's house, um, actually went to my mom's house and passed out and then we did Christmas over here and then with her family and my stepdad's family and just has been it's been crazy so I had to color this like last night before I drove to my mom's house so I knew I would get it done um so yeah well it's midnight now so I guess it's not technically Christmas anymore but bah it's it's recognized today on this Monday as Christmas and also happy Hanukkah to everyone else who celebrates Hanukkah on uh tomorrow night Wait, no, I guess because it's Monday, I guess it would be tonight. I'm getting together with the other half of my family that is Jewish, and we are going to be celebrating Hanukkah and eating a lot of yummy meals. But whatever you celebrate, I hope that, you know, you are being well fed and relaxed and taken care for or spending time with those you love and people who care about you. And if you aren't, do not spend it with people who do not make you happy. Make sure you do things that you love because everyone deserves it. Everyone deserves to be treated well and have a wonderful time at this point of year, especially if you're not at work. But, um, but yeah, um, I hope that some of you took a vacation like I did. So we can have some time to relax and maybe do some drawing and play some video games because I know for a fact that that is what I will be doing. I'm just trying to de-stress and get myself nice and healthy and relaxing. But yeah, this, uh, I loved making this drawing. It made me so happy. Um, and just working my way back into getting to art and doing creative things. But I hope you all had a Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate, or maybe just even a wonderful weekend. I will see you guys in the next video. Give it a thumbs up and a comment if you enjoyed it. And tell me what other things you'd like to see. I would love hearing from you guys. Bye-bye.